Hey everybody, it's me, Mr. Hansen, speaking to you from my home office. I hope you're all having a wonderful break and staying safe. We are going to be learning today about some cool tools that you can use on your internet web browser to create some really neat musical projects. Today we're going to look at one of the easiest ones that anyone can do of any age, and that is our rhythm creator on Chrome Music Labs. Let's take a look and see how to find Chrome Music Labs. I'm going to pull up my web browser here. This is Google. And if you want to find Chrome Music Labs, you can just simply search for Chrome Music Lab. And the top result coming back will be your Chrome Music Lab. This brings up all of the tools that are in this really neat suite of things. And there's actually quite a few um, games and activities on here. There's a bit of about down here about Chrome Music Lab and a few links that you can follow if you want to learn more about it. Today we're going to look at rhythm. This is one that students of any age can do. So we are going to create some rhythms together. This first rhythm is a cool little animation of a couple little characters here. And if you want to just play the basic rhythm that they've given you, you can see this monkey is playing the timpani right there when these orange balls pop up. Now this song is in a pattern of three. We can tell that because there are three lines coming down here um, and then three of the subdivided lines. So there are two timpani voices and then there's also the triangle voice. So we can put patterns wherever we want them and then we can play. So that is in a pattern of three using timpani and triangle. There's a few other characters we can meet here. Here is a drum set and a, a floor tom. So we have the floor tom is those orange ones at the bottom. These are the snare drum and the hi-hat played by that, uh, I guess it's a bigger monster right there. So we can look at this pattern. And it will repeat. They will go over and over. It's very cool. So you can create some neat beats just with these and it will repeat over and over for you. So you can see again, the lines are where the down beats are. We call those down beats because the beats of music go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da. So you can create a rock and roll beat. You can create some dance beats with that one. Here is another one. This is a pattern of one, two, three, four, five. So this is a five count pattern. Um, this has two wood blocks and a clave. And this is a rhythm that uh, some of you might recognize that goes up with uh, an old TV show and a series of movies that I won't mention here. Um, but that one has a pattern of five. So you can make different rhythms based on that, uh, that pattern. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So you can create a looping five count pattern right there. And this one here, this is the last set of characters you can meet. This is a pattern of one, two, three, four, five, six beats. And we have two, uh, two tumbas and uh, looks like a cowbell right there. So let's get some voices going here. We'll click some notes on and see what we can create. So using this tool, you can create a bunch of really interesting rhythms. If you want to learn more about what rhythms mean, click the question mark up on the top. And it talks a little bit about what the Chrome Music Lab rhythm tool is. Rhythms are patterns of sound in time. The most common rhythms repeat every four beats, but can also be three, five, six, or even more. And it says click on the grid to build your own rhythms. I hope you're able to have a lot of fun creating something with this tool. Uh, if you want to show me a picture or a video of a rhythm that you've created, um, maybe you're performing or dancing with it, I'd love to have you do that. The best way to do that is to send me an email with a link to the picture on, uh, can be on a cloud sharing service such as Google Photos or, or Apple Pictures or Apple Photos um, or even a Facebook, Twitter. Uh, if you can email those links to me, I can watch them a little bit easier and I can give you some feedback because I'd love to see what you're working on. We have a lot more tools of Chrome Music Labs to look at in the next few series of videos, so I hope you stick with me. And again, keep yourselves healthy and safe.